fish on. Let's go. Dude, that is a good size one. Dude, adrenaline is just kicking off right now. Woo, fish on. What's up guys welcome back to another video we are out here at the river and we're gonna see if we can get on some salmon the sun is just barely trying to peek out uh, it's overcast and it's cold that to me is a, a good sign a lot of people come here and ride their bikes and go jogging as you can see, they also cleared up the the blackberry bushes. Those are those berries that have all those thorns. And usually those thorn bushes are like thick where you can't really have access. There's a fish that just jumped right over there. I think the city just cleared this out. That helps me get better access to my fishing holes. Check this out. These are the blackberry bushes I'm telling you guys about sometimes I can't even tell if the blood is from the fish or is from me but it's all good and then of course there's like a steep incline I'm just gonna be careful and I have no net I'm just gonna take my time if the fish runs away it runs away it is what it is but yeah this is my one of my holes for um, fishing for salmon Okay, so I am throwing out the Blue Fox number four uh, chartreuse with the chrome blade spinner. And don't mind my funny looking headband. But yeah, this is the GoPro head mount. And I will be filming the, um, the head view and see if we can get a hook set on camera. So check that out. See, this fish is all, all messed up. It's just rotting and decaying and eventually that fish is gonna die that's what they do come in the river spawn lay eggs and then all of them just start dying crazy first cast I hear a lot of fish. Oh, fish on! Let's go. Dude, that is a good size one. <laughs> I just got here, dude. Holy moly. Dude, was that the first cast? No way. No freaking way. She's spinning. Dude, adrenaline is just kicking off right now. Fish on. Let's go. I think this one bit it pretty good. First silver. This is insane. Wow. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. First fish of the morning. Let's go. Oh my goodness, now it's fighting. Ooh, that's a beautiful fish. That is a beautiful fish. Check that out, guys. First cast, dude. Let's go. C Dro. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Because we are figuring things out, dude. I've been bass fishing, um, trout fishing, salmon fishing, everything, dude. I pretty much just learned on the internet. Let's try and get her, get her in and get her bonk. Wow. Dude. Whew, my arm is tired. I'm not even joking. Like, and I got everything on film too. This was like literally the first cast. So that's good. That means there's, there's a good amount of fish. 
already in the river system so this is gonna be interesting see if I can land this fish Wow check out that beautiful beautiful silver salmon hit it on the chartreuse and chrome blue fox spinner that is awesome let's try and not lose this fish guys that is a good good looking fish wow check that fish out let's go oh okay see you guys gotta be careful i'm not using a net hopefully i don't lose this fish adrenaline is just like going crazy right now okay that is not good whatever it just did all right let's go guys fish on and as you can see no net which is kind of risky because once she gets unhooked it's over let's go all right <laughs> dude this fish ah, dang it I forgot they got teeth we got sharp teeth check that out guys first fish dude that was literally the first cast that's awesome smoke the chartreuse with the chrome blade number four blue fox spinner it's freaking awesome um but yeah beautiful chromer i'm turning a little bit color but still fresh i'm gonna get this fish bonked and get out of his misery that way she's not suffering first fish of the morning man sorry guys the adrenaline is still trying to go away yes this is what you call a coho salmon and this is the first fish of the morning smoke the uh, chartreuse and chrome number four blue fox spinner so let's go guys first fish of the morning beautiful beautiful chromer we're gonna keep this one i'm pretty sure it's a hen so it's probably got eggs and we're gonna do our own little egg here so check that out smoke the number four um blue fox spinner so hooked right on the corner of the mouth but let's go, that's awesome. First fish of the morning, first cast. I don't know, that's kind of like a fisherman's curse. All right, so the fish is on the stringer and we bonked it, bled the fish so the meat and eggs can stay um, a little bit fresher when we get home. And I'm pretty sure it's a hen. It's a nice fat chrome hen. Second cast. If I get no bites, I'm gonna change spots and head over further up river to another honey hole. So this is one of my honey holes, pretty simple. Common sense knowledge, there's a log right there. There should be fish sitting right behind the log. And the reason why the salmon are sitting behind these structures or submerged logs, they're trying to stay out of the current. Um, I mean, they're traveling long ways up the river. You gotta imagine they get tired. So they're just taking a break and usually behind the logs the current is is uh, less strong um so yeah those logs are kind of blocking the current from the fish so they'll sit behind those logs and they'll just rest until they're ready to ready to start moving up river to their spawning ground so pretty cool fish i mean for them to be born in a freshwater system live you know for however amount of time and then once they're ready to head out to the ocean where they get bigger and it's crazy how these fish remember how to get back to the exact same river they were born in um, and these fish i've heard travel as far as alaska and the same schools do return to the same rivers and the same exact area or spot they were born in which are their hatchery zones um, yeah, it's a pretty cool fish.
It's like, how do they remember how to get back? That's like a built-in GPS system. I caught that fish probably a little closer to me, to the bank. Wasn't too far. But yeah, no bites now. Seen a couple more rollers. Comment down below what animal you think. Obviously you did this because I think I have a guess. But yep, that tree is down. It's a pretty big tree too. Yep, that tree is dead. I just went from the butt part and then I cut towards this way and then I'm going towards the throat. We're gonna pull the eggs out and we're gonna try and make our own egg this. So, check that out guys, that is cool. So, I was right, this is a hen. A hen is like the girl, the female version. Oh my God, those are so much eggs. I know, we're gonna make a really nice egg here. So let me just pull from the front right here. Wow. Naya. That looks good. Naya out. Naya. See that kid? Camera real quick. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm coming up there. Beautiful egg stain. Make sure it's awesome. So that's the first one. It's huge. The second one we're gonna is grab in. the second one in the bottom. Those are like his other organs. Check that out, guys. So there's number two. So now I gotta get the, I gotta get the, the veins popped out. See the veins? I gotta cut those and get the blood out of it. The blood's gonna make the eggs go bad, so I need to get the blood out. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do is get the blood out of the eggs kind. Uh, that'll keep the eggs fresher. And then I'm gonna put my cure, which is like a powder that makes it smell weird. Check that out, guys. Got some beautiful eggs harvested from that beautiful coho hen salmon, which pretty much means it's a female, obviously. And then we're gonna cure it up with some fire cure. And got a little bit of flavor, some krill powder. And hopefully this will come out good and I'm still waiting to catch my first salmon um, on my own homemade egg cure, so. All right, so we have the garlic mints throughout the filet. Those are like little scoops of butter. And then I got the onions chopped up. I got the lemon. So I think I should just add the lemon now before I cover it with um, mayonnaise. So let's just. I think we cook it. Let's just get this right there. Yeah. Should have a lemon squeezer. <laughs> so now, we're gonna start adding some onions to it. And just cover the whole thing with onions. Okay, so we added salt, pepper, um, patches of butter all around, and then we squeezed some lemons on there. And for the last part, I'm gonna add mayonnaise and cover the whole entire thing with mayonnaise because we love mayonnaise here. Like that. Okay, I think we put a lot of mayonnaise. Like I said, I love mayonnaise, so it's okay with me. Do whatever you think um, you think is good to you. I'm used to cooking my fish like this, so now for the best part, we're gonna wrap it. So let's start. This way, fold it this way, and then fold this, this way. There you go, fish rack. So that's just one, now we're gonna have to do the second one. Yep. Um, so let's just move this guy over here.